so welcome to the regular expression tutorial and we have covered almost everything and now it's time to use our knowledge to create a pattern which going to recognize the html and now we are going to create our own pattern so what i'm going to do i'm going to firstly empty out everything and the basic html will be like this okay so let's match this so we know to match we just have to start with exact same thing so we have matched <laughs> super easy thing but now comes another thing like we have article so how we can add this so first thing we need to escape this okay now we need instead of a we need anything that can be article that can be a so that's okay but here we can say we have a group and that group will be like having a to z and that's good but it has not recognized this one because we need to say this can be one or more so that will be like this but still it's not going to recognize it the problem is with this so because we are saying here we are going to match so ending is match so if i remove this one you can see it now matches the first starting tag but now if we want to have the same thing here so we can simply copy these things from here and paste it and yes you can see the anchor and the article both are here so what if i say i have a tag of div and as soon as i close it yes it is also recognized but you know this is repeated so why not we can use the system where we can refer to the group so if we have this first group so we have referred to the first group here so this is i think easy part but what if i have a new line here so it's not going to work so we need to think about the new line so just after the starting of the div that can be there can be a new line so just after so here this tag is closing and then we need a new line but if we say new line it's not going to match these two because they doesn't have any new line this means this new line is optional so in regex i have we have not discussed about this slash n slash n is just going to uh, find the new line so we have matched all these but suppose we also have another problem that if we have another space here so what we can say yes we can say new line one or more but this is not going to work because new line can be only one and because if you have second new line that means you are going to say something there so we need to match some kind of a text here or anything actually not even the text so just after this we can say okay if there is a new line there can be something that means there can be dot and dot can be even one or more or actually it can be zero or more so we have dot and asterisk but still it has not recognized this thing because we have another new line there so yes if we remove this dot and asterisk it's not going to work but if we have then yeah we have this so if we give a new line after this hello also then we need to check about that also so new line and that is optional because if we don't give an optional field this is not going to work so that has to be again optional but what if i have a tag which is self closing like we have image tag or image tag can be of two type having a space or don't have space here comes interesting part because now we don't have the second part and second part is all these things and actually in a self closing tag we don't have anything after the closing so we here we have the closing and after this these all thing can be optional so i am going to wrap all these things inside this parenthesis so making everything just after the closing 
just after the closing of a starting tag everything can be optional so all these things can be optional similarly all these things can be optional so similarly after that because there is nothing can be optional so just make this thing optional but by making this as an option, it's not going to work because if we have this kind of a statement that going to work, but we have a slash then closing. So here, this one, this closing tag can be either closing or slash closing. So if we say slash, yes, you can see it is working, but it has lost the matching for this. So this slash is an optional. So let's escape this and give a question mark here and now these things are working but you can see it's not having any pattern matching for the space so yes after the word whatever is the tag name we can have any kind of space that has optional so space is optional then closing tag that means the slash is optional so space is optional slash is optional and then closing tag all these things are working fine but now we have to check about the things we are generally dealing with the html so like we have uh, suppose we have an input tag so we have input tag and not input input okay and that tag has a type so if i close this tag yes it is matched but as soon as i give type is equal to text it's not going to work so let's tackle this situation one by one so yes we have type here and now we need to check after the name of the tag do we have a space so we have tackled that situation then after we need to check do we have any word so just after a space which is optional we need to check a to z but that can be optional so yes that uh, that can be optional and these things are good but still it's not matching this type you know why because now we need to say this a to z that character can be more than one or more so it is one or more or optional so instead of these things why not use asterisk so if i use asterisk it's going to work but as soon as i type equal to sign it failed so let's add equal to sign here also now it's matching but as soon as i type double quotes and yes it's again failing so add double quote here and inside that double quote we need any word so once more we have tackled that because we want anything between a to z which is included but as soon as i give any space it again not matching so this means after this we can have a space but that is optional so if i remove that space from here it is going to work if i have that space that's not a problem so this is very nice so we have seen we have actually used the regular expression to determine any kind of html but suppose you are dealing with the front end frameworks like angular react and vue.js and they will provide custom component name so i have a component called header component and closing component so how this can be matched so yes it just have a single thing which is creating the problem which is this hyphen or dash so we need to include that dash inside the name of the tag we are using so let's use dash and as soon as i type the dash it is working absolutely fine or we can pass any kind of uh, like class we can pass here any kind of attribute like class is text bold <laughs> it's good so this is all about the regular expression for html and we have come up with a regular expression which is going to detect any kind of html tag whether it is native html or the 
component based html for any front end uh, libraries or web uh, frameworks so i'm sure you are getting this but by the way if you have any kind of problem or you have some uh, weird kind of things which you want to have a uh, create a pattern for regex pattern for that just comment below message me on facebook twitter and instagram you can email me also find the email in the description or in the channel description so if you have not subscribed to this channel please go and subscribe here and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in some other videos till then goodbye